Hi, this is Jay Ossing from Twin Peaks The Return. You're listening to Inspirado Projecto. Wowzers, I just had a, an hour-long conversation uh, with Nikki, Nick, uh, Nikki, Mick, wait, Nikki, mm, Lambra. Nikki McLambra. I think Nick Nikki Mc wait Nikki Nikki L- Nick Lambra Anyway she you'll the episode you'll find the episode she is huge into selenite crystals and uh, I had met her through the harmonic convergence I met her through the Harmonic Convergence. You got to check out that interview. She is just so knowledgeable. So knowledgeable. And, uh, wow. It'll explode your brain. It'll explode your brain, man. You got to check it out. I'm now heading up to the store. Oh, tomorrow, uh, the 24th, July 24th, We're going to be... Uh, hold on a second. I gotta ask these guys. They're painting up this place. Hey, you guys. What is this place gonna be? Uh, what are they go. turning this into? Yeah, right yeah. Here. What are you guys turning this into? It's a micro mobility. A what? The micro mobility industry. Scooters and stuff. Oh, scooters. Yes. Well, like this type of exactly. stuff. This oh, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. So yeah. By the way, um, that's my partner right there, Jack. We actually be here, so you gonna see. Are you the neighbor? Right. Yeah, I live around the corner, yeah. Yeah, so, so you'll be, we're going to uh, actually cater all the, you know, charging, you know, just mechanical work. Too. Wow. So, it's, look, it's looking good. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate yeah. Right here, man. Thanks. Yeah. Just, what's, right what's the name of the company? What are you guys going to call uh, it? It's, it's going to be uh, High Amp with Max Project. It's two companies colliding together. Oh, and they're high, both scooter companies? Both of them scooter. So they're, they're High Amp on Max Project, you know. So, oh, cool. So uh, Max I'm, Project, I'm, yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm actually in downtown, so... This is my, this is my, like I said, this is my brother. I have my brother partner. He's going to be here in the valley. And both oh, so you're opening a second store. Like, that's, that's it. So I'm helping him out and I'm hoping, you know, to actually cater all Los Angeles. So that's right great. Now, right now we have a nice, we probably cater about 70% of all the schools in Los Angeles. Do you, do you have an, uh, an Instagram or anything? Yeah. Oh, oh well, cool. Is it called Max Project? Well, my, no, no, it's not called Max Project. Did she make it? I'm sorry. She, somebody made it already. It's, oh. we, yeah, we got the pe- we, yeah, she she made it and stuff, so I had to get it from her. She did okay. the whole social media thing, you know what I'm saying? You're right, right, so, right. But um, yeah, I'm actually in downtown LA, so you can check me out. My name is Max. You can go Max underscore Loyalty. Cool, you see cool. see all the scooter stuff. It's cool. awesome. I was just podcasting, and I was walking past. I always like to interview interesting people, so well, this is cool to hear. Um, you, you probably want to understand, um, you know, interview him, too. He's, um, you know, he's one actually one of the best dudes out here in LA, you know, too. To run a or run a company of scooters like this, we actually saved the industry, so it's awesome. Cool, cool. Well, thanks, man. I got to get to the store, but thanks a lot. So uh, there you go. You heard it here. They these folks are uh, putting together a scooter company. Man, there are about ten people on my list that I wrote down from the Harmonic Convergence. Each of these people with superpowers. And it is, it is astounding. It is astounding to see these kinds of people exist. I, uh, I would uh, formally, you know, formally I had, I had imagined certain people and personalities existing certain, you know, superpowers, so to speak, existing. And, you know, this is one of those things where, you know, they, truth is stranger than fiction. Every day, I'm learning more and more and more not to limit uh, the possibility. Well, I'll put it the other way. Every day, I'm learning more and more and more to open up to the possibilities 
allow for the possibilities uh, and welcome the possibilities and recognize them when I see them of seemingly crazy, seemingly astonishing, seemingly science fiction type uh, situations. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. The more I'm allowing for those possibilities to exist, the more those possibilities are existing. I'm inviting them into my reality and they are in fact growing like crazy. They're blossoming like mad. Incredible. Incredible. High vibrations, baby. High vibrations. That's what it's all about. High vibrations. When you're screaming and yelling, you run out of steam, you know? You run out of ammo. You run out of steam. It tires you out, wears you out. Uh, man, just, just amazing. Every day, I'm just blown away by the kinds of highly vibrating minds that I keep coming across. It's, it's so, it's so cool because it, 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 it helps you realize that this is balancing it all out. This is the yin to the yang, or the yang to the yin. When we look around and we see that things may appear hopeless, things may, be, may, may appear uh, unfortunate and everything's falling apart. We can, we can then choose whether we are going to give in to that illusion, where we, whether we are going to feed that reality and, and, and give power to that, give momentum to that, or if we're going to use our powers for choosing the kind of life that we aspire to have and to take part in, in our reality experience. So the more we do that, the more we um, discover extraordinary things happening for us. It's, it's astonishing, it really is astonishing. I can't say enough about it. Highly vibration conversations, thoughts, ideas, that's, man, that is just where it's at. Imagination, that is where it's at. If you have children at home, watch how they open up their imaginations. Watch how they expand their insight. They will teach you a lot. Kurt. Hello, it is me. It's Maria. Hello, it's been too long. I am just listening to your episode here about selenite. I love it with this woman, Nikki, from the East Coast, it sounds like she is. And it's fascinating. I love it. Thank you so much for continuing your show out here. I also wanted to tell you, I'm so bummed. It's Friday night right now. I kind of was hoping I could go to the Ventura County Fairgrounds to see Yachtly Crew, but it didn't happen, alas. I hope you had fun. I'm sure there were a lot of people. It looked great. I went bike riding along the shore there the other day, and um, it looked really fun the way they have it set up in the parking lot there. So I hope you had fun, and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe, healthy, and happy. It's now 7.54 p.m. We'll soon be walking up to the stage. It's amazing. We're looking out this, uh, the green room. It's in this place called Derby something or something Derby. We're out here watching people come in here. All these cars, there's at least 500 people. They're lining up. They're lining up. People are getting their temperature taken right there in their cars, all these people. Um, as many seatbelts as there are in your car, that's how many people you can have. 
And I mean, we are really playing sort of a drive through, a drive in experience. It's crazy. A total drive in experience. Here we are up on the big screen, man. They're going to be able to have, I've just been informed. Hey, Chaz, is it, is it true that these people actually be able to tune into their radio dials and yeah, hear us play on it? Oh my God, us. dude. That's how they listen to us. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I, I would say if you know anyone who has the capability of being able to, like, uh, um, an input to, to, to plug into it that runs into their phone and they could actually record oh. the, the full audio, bam, right straight through it. A live show. That's extra material, you know. So, um, I think I just planted a seed in, in uh, Chaz's ear. So, I'm so excited. This is the first time we're playing a drive-in. We're talking to a guy about merchandise. Andy Gould, our uh, manager, is here. Our, our agent, uh, uh, Jim Lenz. That's right. And Andy Gould works with Spectrum Spectrum Entertainment. And uh, Jim Lenz. Oh, no. No, Spectacle. Spectacle. Yeah, that's right. Oh, gosh. It's just, it blows my mind. Maria Humphreys. Wow. Thank you so much for that wonderful message. I got to tell you, quarantine has been one of the just so, so, uh, 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 so artistic filled, very creative. My whole time. Ah, wow. Just lots of creativity, writing stuff down, creating stuff. Oh man. It's a joy. It's a joy. Yachtly crew played last night. And you know what? Um, it's great. Uh, it's so interesting because I, I, was, I had all these subjects to talk about in here, and then it's so funny because I shuffled some stuff around, as you know, as I usually do in the podcast. Thank you, by the way, for listening to that podcast with uh, with uh, Nikki, with the Cell Knight. Le- Mark, Mark, Marbra, Le Marbra, Marbra, Le Marbra, that's her name, Le, Nikki Le Marbra, M-A-R-B-R-E, yeah, that's what it was. And, uh, so great, so great. So uh, yeah, it's so funny. I scooted a little piece over here into this, and then a, and then a piece of Yali Crew. Which, by the way, Maria, um, you you've been very active during the quarantine, which is great. Everybody, check out Strong Body, Strong Soul podcast with Maria Humphreys. She is very talented, in very many avenues. So check out her stuff. Police, pump, 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 police. So, Maria, here comes another piece of the uh, Yachtly Crew. This is behind the scenes stuff you're getting to hear here. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for calling and, and being a part of the madness. And uh, I'll have some of my celebrity friends call your podcast soon. <laughs> right? All right. Thank you so much. Bye bye. It is now 4 o'clock. Today is the 24th, Friday. Yachtly Crew is getting set up here at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. It's so funny. Back in 2012, I played my very first show at the Ventura County Fairgrounds with a, a, a band called Rio. It, it was a, a tribute band to Duran Duran. And I played my very first show here at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. So now with, with uh, quarantine... Um, with these drive-in concert experiences, we are in a sense pioneering this. We're the first ones to do this here. First Yacht Rock Band. Uh, we're setting stuff up. I'm so excited. So excited. we got these big screens. It's theater and around, man. Theater and around. I got the keyboard set up on both sides of the stage. It's going to be so cool, so crazy, so exciting. And, um... Wow, I just cannot wait to see what's going to happen here. Cannot wait to see what's going to happen here. I mean, it's 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 astounding. I cannot wait. Such good vibes, man. We're going to be pumping out high vibrations, man. Taking people down trips trips down memory lane. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. There's far more mileage you can get out of screaming your favorite love songs versus screaming against uh, stuff. You know, there's 
Pauly Shores is here, my brother. Pauly Shores, Pauly Shores, Pauly Shores. Here we are. Here we are in Ventura, California. Yeah. What are your th- What are your thoughts about the fact that we're playing in, in a theater in the round, our first theater in the round? It's like Shakespeare. Like we're at the Globe. That's right. Theater. That's right. That's right. Except we're not on the Thames River in London. That's we're right. in a parking lot in the Ventura County Fairgrounds, looking out at the the beautiful oh, yeah, baby. Pacific Ocean. Oh yeah, look at that. I just now completely saw that we're right out here by the by the look ocean. Look at that man, he's walking naked over there. <laughs> we're, at oh, the, man. we're looking at the Pacific Ocean. Right oh my now. god. It's very specific. Yeah, very specific. The specific ocean. The wind is blowing and we're going to die because oh, this feels panel, so good. This, <laughs> oh, this yeah. panel of lights is going to panel fall of lights. and crush our skulls. But we're looking at the specific ocean. If only Shakespeare had these panels of lights to broadcast his theater. In the Globe Theater. In the, the Globe Theater. River. It's not the Thames River, but it is a very blue specific ocean. <laughs> the specific ocean. The very, very specific ocean. We're going to bring you specifically yards of rock That's right. to your mind skulls. Yards tonight. of rock. <laughs> We're going to screw your ear holes full of the most beautiful. What happened to my accent? It's now Czechoslovakian. <laughs> Very bohemian. Yes, and they spit a lot. So I must wear my mask. So I don't spit my COVID on you. I'm noticing the Crown Plaza. Do you think there will be people up there watching from the balcony? I think this is our green room. No, yes, the vertical concert. It's yes. like the vertical concert. Yes. Where, we, where they all drink from their hotel rooms and watch. It's vertically horizontal. It's horizontally vertical. People will not know what hit them. No! Those people in the windows are going to get some free concert. And those free. people up there? They probably knew exactly what they were doing when they oh, went yeah. to their hotel rooms at the Crown Plaza. Oh, oh yeah. Venture up here. And all the people sitting on the picnic benches and all the tall people that'll be peering over those green fences. Oh, goodness. Grassy has. And all the cones marking off the parking oh, spots yeah. in the parking lot. Yes, very the COVID. Bright, COVID. The bright orange cones. COVID. COVID-19. COVID. Co- There's a lot more Con-vid. than 19 cones out there. Why don't they call it COVID? They should call it COVID-20, right? Because it's Con- 2020. 2020. But it came, apart, it came about in 2019. Oh, right before the turn of the century. Yes, the turn of the decade, <laughs> rather. The turn of the double decade. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. The we madness... relocate because Wait, the mighty dust The mighty dust there he is. I'm helping Dustin bring it bring it on down. Bring it on down. You know, in times like these you gotta be resourceful. And that's exactly what this uh uh drive-in concert is. You know, you you where it looks like a wall or it looks like a, a limitation or an obstacle, man, you just never know what kind of magical thing is going to appear out of nowhere and enable you to do what you got to do, how you got to do it, and then you just you just deal with it, man. You just got to deal with it. This is the first time all of us have had to unload uh, equipment with, while wearing masks, you know? And uh, I'd like to believe this will strengthen our lungs. This will strengthen our capacity for breathing our own uh, CO2, and I think it'll be just good for everybody. Good for everybody. I I sense a lot of evolution. A lot of evolution. Heck, maybe this is the evolution we've been waiting for. It'll start turning us into plants, right? Because plants drink uh, and breathe uh, CO2. So this is just us returning back to our plant nature. All right. More later. More later. Oh, and I feel it all on my way. Yeah. And I know, and I know, I got to stay. What's the best way to teach? 
What is the thing you're teaching? Why is it important to you? Why do you want people to know what it is that you're learning? Are there benefits? Is it an ego? Is there, is there the feeling of wanting to prove something? Who's the driver of the train? Who's the conductor? Who's conducting the train of thought? Who's the conductor? Who's operating the train of thought? Who's conducting the music, the order, the art on that train of thought? Passenger, passenger, pass. Passage, a passenger, 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 passage, passage, passage. There's a passage. You're willing to ride along through the passage. What's the passage? What's coming up? The passage is the unknown. We're willing to take a, a, <laughs> a ride on the train of thought. Conducted by, you know, it's like a gamble. Everything's a little gamble. Everything's a gamble. It's the willingness to 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 go all in. What are we going to go all in on? That's what I want to know. What's the th- what are those things that we go all in on? Some of us become activists. Some of us become advocates. Some of us become readers. Some of us become writers. Some of us become the consumers. Some of us become the producers. Some of us become the pacifists some of us become the oh what's the word I'd say offenders but then there's the defenders and there's the blenders and the senders and the shredders and the critters and the redders and the bitters and the flippity dippiters you know it's so interesting during the harmonic convergence there's a woman who's talking about the idea of speaking this angel language and I'd hear them go (laughs) and it was funny because this was a pure reflection of Kurt Schwitters who I mentioned on a Yachtly Crew live stream that we did Baba Booey's backyard by his pool, the flamingo floating in the pool in the backyard. Shoot a dookie. Out there in the backyard, Allen Ginsberg throwing frisbee. William Burroughs catches it, flips, stage dives, then nose dives, then somersaults his way into the pool, sploosh, splish, splash. Water's going everywhere. Allen Ginsberg starts reading the poem. He's over there standing with a dinosaur lifesaver. Plushy yet balloony. Squeezed, squozed, grozy, grozed, round his waist. Round his waist, like a ring marriage. A marriage of poetry. There he was, Allen Ginsberg, Charlie Parker. <laughs> William Burroughs over there, drinking a scotch. In 1912, a man was on a horse. He was riding on the horse and he was juggling starfish he found in Grant Central Park. Thank you very much, William Burroughs. We do appreciate your introduction, your inclusion, your participation, and your collaboration. When Burroughs crickety cracking his fingers. Snip snap, snip snap, there goes the knuckle. 
there goes the huckle chuckle. There goes his toes. Dosey does. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy went to the motorcycle shop. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy took the 18 wheeler rig and parked it. And boy, did he park it good. This man should win awards for parallel parking, diagonal parking. Otherwise, parking the way he really wants to. I commend him and his yab yum. Existence of finality, of phenomenality, of paranormality, and green screen effects in this day and age. But on those 3D glasses, what's better than those 3D glasses? I would say far too well reality, and you and I both know. Actually, Allen Ginsberg, he knows. Allen Ginsberg, William Burroughs, Neil Cassidy, of course, behind the wheel of the bus. Did I tell you, Neil Cassidy once drove the bus of the Merry Pranksters with Ken Kesey. Which, by the way, they stopped by my apartment out there in New York. And uh, I was very schnarched. Uh, they tried to have a yab yum. I said, Alan Goodsburg, keep them away from me. Charlie Parker and a bing bang bang up. <laughs> Alan Ginsberg, why you look so glum, chum? I feel. Oh, yes, William Burroughs. I feel. <coughs> I need to jump off the Golden Great Bridge. The Golden Great Bridge? Oh, it's golden and it's great. Follow the rainbow. Find the pot of gold in this. The leprechaun, that's what I've always said. Leprechaun, schmeprechaun. I need me a wife. I understand, I understand. I need me a wife that's a marsupial. Okay, hey, we've all got our likes, we've all got our dislikes. I don't like pickles, for instance, that make me squinch up my eyeballs. And if there's one thing I don't do, that's not something to laugh at, lady. She must have been hearing me talk about my fear of pickles and all those bad, bad nightmares I've had. Late at night, thinking about those pickles, let's forget about those. Let's talk about oatmeal. Preferably, my favorite kind of oatmeal has some maple syrup on it. How about you, Allen Ginsberg? The skeleton. The skeleton. Go home now. The skeleton. The skeleton. Go find a bone. The skeleton. The skeleton. Go to Rome. Skeleton, the skeleton, learn to ride a unicycle. Skeleton, the president, the skeleton, the president, the skeleton, the president, the skeleton, the president. The skeleton, the skeleton, where are my shoes? <laughs> the skeleton. <clears throat> Thank you very much. 
Uh, Alan gives it, but I'm not done. I'm still in it. The skeleton, the skeleton, stop finding my toes. Start finding my toes. The skeleton, the skeleton is now my detective. Detective skeleton, go find my toes. Wow, very, very good. Thank you very much, Alan Ginsberg. To you and your crew of musicians, this here is Paul McCartney on bongos, drums, kazoo. Well, thank you very much, Alan Ginsberg, and your friend Paul McCartney. Let it be. You guys did a wonderful job out there. Shoot a dookie. Shoot a dookie. Shoot a dookie. The beat is here to keep the world is round and haven't you found you green, 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 green. Let's <clears throat> see if I can do that fast enough. <clears throat> but I gotta go from the one I'm like. I'm getting diagnosed. I'm on my uh, balcony right now. Oh my gosh. I threw my bag last night dancing. Oh my gosh, dancing last night. <laughs> Is that Yali Cruz show? Oh my gosh, they're driving. Holy cow. I just got back from helping out. Oh my gosh, I'm stretching my arms. Oh, wow, it feels good, you know? You do. You gotta, you gotta breathe from the diaphragm, breathe from the diaphragm, breathe from the breathe, breathe from the diaphragm, breathe from the diaphragm, breathe from the diaphragm, breathe from the diaphragm, breathe, from the diaphragm. breathe, breathe. Franche, Franche, Franche. Some people in America would like to have fresh air. I prefer personally to have French, French air. For welcome to the airline of your, of your life. French air. French air. The only French plane to give you all French things you like. You get to pet French poodles at the front. There's class row. No animal abusers allowed. With Ferrange Ferrari to every passenger on the plane. But we ask you to at least use hand sanitizer before putting your French poodle. Okay. No, in Koch class, it is extra money for you to have the French Poodle. Okay. No, for the very backer, for the children and the maniacs. The maniacs and the crazy people sit in the back. Okay. And they get French toast. And the French but we ask you to share your personally wrapped French plastic wear with in the front. We want you to have a wonderful time eating your French toast. Well, that's very good of you. I've never been on a plane here. Thank you very much, you French, French people. I, I happen to be French myself. I happen to be French myself here. Ooh. Jack Kerouac, that is me. Uh, I'd have to say possibly part of the reason why 
I sound the way I do is because I'm uh, part French. <laughs> okay. And I'm, uh, uh, I have to say, brought up out here in New York. Okay. I'm a, uh, let's, let's call it a Jack London of New York. Wow, that is very French of you. Well, to, uh, to do the, to be the, 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 the French, uh, of New York. <laughs> so, is that what you're saying over there, Frenchy? That is exactly what I'm saying here yeah, about. We'll take down the, uh, the water. How about this? We put a French, uh, uh, F. Eiffel, okay, Z. Eiffel, Tower, right above the, uh, the, the Liberty Station, okay. I'd have to say this is some of the most remarkable ideas I've ever heard in my life. How about that, Alan Ginsberg? The skeleton, the skeleton made a big eye full tower. <laughs> The skeleton, the skeleton, put it around me, Liberty. A statue. The skeleton, the skeleton, knows what to do. Uh, thank you, Alan Ginsberg. No, thank you very much. No, that's okay, you guys. You can turn off your... Uh... I love it. Okay, how about that? Hey, let's hear more of that. Thank you very much, Charlie Parker. It's quite a yap, you know. Blue bird, bear, black bird, uh, parent. The skeleton, the skeleton, go home now. Okay, thank you very much, everybody out there, for listening tonight. Tonight's broadcast here with, with Jack Kerouac here. This person of interest, this person of excitement, <laughs> and the man who just really realized I am very French. Thank you very much to Allen Ginsberg, to William Burroughs. You are very welcome. Actually, why don't you come on over here to the microphone? Tell these people, come over here to the microphone. Let me hand this one over to you. Let me give you. Okay, over there. All right, I'm gonna stand over you. You talk over there. Are you sure? Yeah, you do. Just put it in your mouth. Put it near closer to your mouth. Don't like this. And this still close. I don't care. However you want to do it. William Burroughs, this is your time to shine. Okay. <clears throat> the skeleton, the skeleton is a president. Hey, hey, hey. The skeleton, <clears throat> the typewriter, drank chocolate milk while I was sleeping on a veranda. The veranda? On a veranda. On the veranda. What are you trying to do? On the veranda. Yeah, it was a veranda. On the crescenda. It could have been on it. I don't know. Was it in a loft? Oh, why? I don't know. I don't care really if it... Was it in the backyard? I don't even... I'm trying to tell my leg this bump. Was it on a unicycle? Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> and there I was, eating my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I felt I was alone out there. But then I realized something very important. The skeleton, the skeleton, ate my coffee. 
Now, hold on. You can't eat a coffee unless it's frozen in such a way that you make it a, a licorice. Or perhaps a caramel. Or even a truffle. Or, 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 or even a bubble gum. Okay, 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 okay. William Burroughs, thank you very much. William Burroughs, thank you very much. Okay, that was William Burroughs. No, thank you for the jelly bellies. Okay, thank you very much for the jelly bellies. Okay, thank you very much. We are really appreciating the time you, America, are taking out tonight to give yourself. Who is this over here? This big Tony Danza. I, Tony Danza. If you have, if you ever read "On the Road" by Jack Kerouac. Yeah, of course I read it. Who are you? I mean, what do you take me for, my dummy? I used to drive taxi cabs, and after that, I used to be a housekeeper. So, can I be on your show? I don't see why not. I think uh, my time here is up. I'm gonna go back to New York and be the beat, the beat, the keep off the street. We're beat nation. We're beat generation. A beat superstation. A mind meld. A world gelled, a flashing, blinking light in the night, black and green, or so it seems, and the purple dances like a magic stardust. Hey, I think that's, that's great. It's been... Hey, where's this horse curve? Where, where, what's that? We got a fair band over here. <laughs> Skeleton, skeleton. Hey, where's my hat? Can I come over here? Can I come over here by the microphone? Hey, how's it going there? I'm Tony Danza. Well, I guess I'll talk to you later. Shoot a dookie dookie. All right, that, that's fine with me. It's Tony Danza. I, for one, want to give you a PSA about being good people. Okay. Okay. Hey, Mona. Mona, where's Angela? Angela, Angela, where's Jonathan? Jonathan, where's Samantha? All right, all right, all right. This is my time off here. I got about fifteen seconds here to say, Miss Tony Danza. I fully support your creativity and your decision to do the best you can with what you got. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Can I hand this over to you? Yes, please. Yes, but thank you, everybody. Thank you. Wow, you never know who's going to show up on your balcony, man. I got to tell you. You never know who's going to show up on your balcony. You never know. I'm standing out here with the, uh, the antenna tree, and boy, oh, boy. We've been having quite a time out here, haven't we, antenna tree? Every single every single time I come out here, you had to have heard me talk about the antenna tree. Wow, man. There it is. See, when the antenna tree grows, it's this, it really honestly looks like a, the, an antenna going to the sky. It's purple up there. God, it's so great. It's so great. And then before it starts growing into it, it ends up becoming a pine, uh, a, uh, a palm tree. so interesting. We've grown together, haven't we? Wow. We've grown. It's now one, two. Oh my God. Look at all these. Look at all these. Oh my God, this thing. Whew. There's a second one coming up here. I got two antennas right here. I mean, I got my own. Look at this. I love it. 
This spot is so good. This is the best spot in the whole place, you guys. Look what, you, look what you've done. Oh. Wow. Can I put you up here? Too much. You want to touch the balcony? How cool would that be? Touch the balcony. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. What? Oh my god, these are like fingers. They're like fingers. You like snuffle up against. These are like your your these are like your whiskers, man. These are your whiskers. Oh my god, this is crazy. Wanna stay up here? Can you? Can you hang out? I'm not gonna keep you up here, but let, I mean how cool is that? Look. Take some strain off you. How do you guys feel? You guys okay about that? Yeah. Let's get take some strain. And you just How about that? Is that alright? Every time you're out here I can just pet you like this. Is this okay? You wanna try here. Zip. Let's try to get you out there. Is that okay? How neat is that? How cool is that? I'm gonna touch the handlebars. <clears throat> Look at that. So crazy, man, I swear. Look at that. Whew, incredible. Incredible. I can touch this. Touch the tree. If you could ever get the opportunity to just put your face in leaves off a living tree and just play with it. play with the imagination, you know? Revert back to that child where you're going, this is live, man. This is live. Interesting. It'd be interesting to know the motivations behind those teaching the dreams out of their children. It was so interesting to me to find out what's the value in, in teaching your kid that your ideas and imaginations are not possible or that they, they cannot, that they are matched against odds out there in the world. Right away, what, what's the benefit of us making kids Feel that competition is important. That you got to fight against this. That world is, that the world is an uphill thing. That's just how the world is. Well, you know, I understand that there can be that cynicism. That's just how the world is. We're also explaining to them the world that we've been seeing through our own eyes. So we're, we're explaining to them certain perspectives. Now, wouldn't that be interesting? Oh, this would be such an interesting, uh, ex you know. I, I'm just thinking about making. Let's just say for a character in the story, okay? I was going to say for our kids. So, we don't even let him know about historical fights, conflicts. We don't let him know. We don't even let it get to them that there are any sort of bam, bam, bam uh, things fighting against each other. If they ever catch us watching the news, we just tell them it's a science fiction movie. It's just fake. <laughs> that's just fake. And then you put on Star Wars and you go, that's real, kid. That's real. <laughs> I mean, my gosh, man. If a kid was brought up only believing that they were wizards, witches, <laughs> sorcerers, sorceresses, sorceresses, um, of these philosophical psychics, paranormal astronauts 
Ooh, astronomical parallelonauts. Parallelonauts. Could you imagine that? You're flipping between the parallel universes. I'm going to be interviewing Thomas Valentine Hollick. You've got to check this guy out. Very unique. Very unique. You can find him on Facebook. I had a, a, I had a conversation with him two days ago. I helped out Ryan McGonigal. And Davey Chansky moved some stuff. We got a chance to talk about Kapow. It's going to be purely digital, purely uh, visual. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see how this is going to show, show up. Purely digital. Kapowiff.com. So I got back from helping him move, and whoa, he made these strong margaritas. So now I'm out on the balcony, whoa, soaking it all in. We were talking about creativity. So I said to Dave, you know, formulas were made by people who didn't have a formula to make, to help make that formula. <laughs> Formulas were made by people who didn't have formulas to make the formulas they made. So, every single one of us is an explorer. Every single thing. This is, this is, this is. So imagine teaching this to kids too, right out of the bat. We don't, we don't teach them about any of the conflicts. We don't teach them about any of the issues. We don't even have to have them. Imagine, imagine this. Imagine this. Okay, let's just go to a science fiction novel right now. Well, those kids are never shown the news. They're never shown. You know, the evil that's going out there. We, we resort to tell them stories about, if we're going to tell them about the news and what's going on out there in the world, in the world we, we, we put it out there as a story. Oh, I should say this, this fictional land. These people, they put out a story, okay? This is just a, a sci-fi. So they don't, they don't teach any of the kids any of any of the fighting that was going on way back when. The benefits of math, the numerology that is tied within the math, all the magical things. We take all of the Venn diagrams, all those beautiful elements, all the things from the channelers, the Amazon rainforest shaman, the, 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 the Lakota, the other Indian elders and grandmothers who have known for millennia how to live off the land, just how to connect with all that is. Combining Nikolai Tesla technology. Oh my gosh. Quantum, quantum computers. Oh my gosh. Just imagine the thriving situation in this book of this story where the kids are just taught where are your where, where are your interests? What do you feel like doing? You know, we've we we figure out these roots. We just figure out the roots, and they're based on excitement. They're based on joy. They're based on so so the exam. The ex, okay, so so let's imagine the parents who are keeping this reality for the kids in a whole community. Um, they don't know about past wars. They don't know about. You know, they're, they're playing games for the sake of playing games. Um, there's no advertisement. Everything's done in a, in a bartering in a bartering system way. Every person has their own little garden. All the gardens, there are no walls, there are no fences between people's yards. Uh, there's, there's no need for someone to guard over them. If there's any guards, they're they're keeping this world, this particular world, sacred. Oh, a world. Okay, world, world, world. The world could be just in a little the world, or the world could be the world. The world could be a microcosm, culture, a cult. Imagine that culture. The root word. The culture is a cult. A cult is a bigger culture. The cultures are all, all put. Hey, that's just part of the culture. These people kill turtles, they, you know, rah, 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 eat them up. These people kill bulls, rah, 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 eat them up. That's just their culture. Well, each pioneer has created their own formula 
unbeknownst to them. That then attracts other people who kind of get to know that is a way of life. They all start reflecting that kind of way of life. They're all brought to the river. They're told this much about the river. All they know about the river is what they've been told. That's the story they then pass on to their kids. So if they're told, "Uh uh-oh, be careful at the river, there's a creature, big, and he'll come after you. You know, this could be a prankster. It'll come out at you. If you try to use that river or drink from it, it'll come out, and it'll scare you, and you'll have nightmares. So these people, it could be a prankster. Imagine that. If some of the the, the most... the most revered stories that we've come to identify with, call our own, choose to, you know, that that's what defines me. That's my definition. That's my definition. Isn't that interesting? We're choosing to identify as making an, a, a definition. I, this I right here, that I right there who's listening to this, I, you, <laughs> I identify, identify, identity, it's funny, too, because a t-shirt. I had my buddy Lawrence and I, Lawrence August, and I I still have my Instagram co- uh, account called Identities, where I, every every sort of eight or infinity symbol I capture, I put up their identities. I kept seeing them and seeing them and seeing them. Identities. Then we started thinking of a t-shirt company called Identities. That is something we have sent, uh, sent emails about, Identities. And it goes deep. It goes deep. Uh, it's more than just a name, my friend. It's more than just a name. More than just a name. More than just a name. Thank you so much for listening tonight. Um, I just want to say we are here to be satisfied, to enjoy our times alone, entertain ourselves. Do we really want to be worrying about what is the next door neighbor, you know, going to think of my car? I saw that he's got a... He's got a, a, a twin 18 cylinder that goes zero to 400 in three seconds, man. In three seconds. That guy can go f- zero to 400 in three seconds, okay? That guy he tears off down the hallway, down a, down a freeway, sorry, expressway, I mean highway. Three seconds. Three seconds. In three seconds, you're going to four, four hundies. He's going to four hundies, MPG. Ease. Easy McPeasin. Easy McPeasin time, okay? Identity. Identify. Identify. Identity. Identity. Identify. Identity. Identify. 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 Definition. Definition. Define. Define. Definition. 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 Identity. Identify. I just define. Identify. 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 And I justify. Identify. And I justify. Identify. And I justify. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening to tonight. Look up Yachtly Crew. Yachtly Crew. Yachtly Crew. Yachtly Crew. Yachtly Crew. It's Yacht Rock. It's a band. They sing Yacht Rock from the late 70s, early 80s. Yachtly Crew will knock your socks off, so please put a hat on your head. Captain. Simpson. Please send your inquiries to inspiradoprojecto at gmail.com. You can also call the hotline at 562. You. Can direct all inquiries to Inspirado Projecto at gmail.com. 
You can also call us at 561-203-9179. Did I hear a niner? Yeah, I did too. Five, six, four, two, zero, three, nine, one, seven, nine, nine, six, one, zero, three, nine, one, three, nine, It's Superhero, and you're listening to Inspirado Projecto.